is really remarkable. Many years ago, I had the idea that why not put the processing of the system into the cloud? Um, and now with, with the latest generations of Internet, it's really achievable. But um, so anyway, somebody did develop something very, very similar to that. And it's called Audio Gritter. And essentially, it puts your DAW, um, it puts all the plugins that you want to interface with your DAW that you want to offload the power into a false server, which is they call it the AG server. And the server then communicates to the DAW using, um, you know, the, the connection, and then the processing occurs on the remote system or just the server in general. Because I guess you can run this on your home system, or you can use it on a remote system if you want to offload the power. But really the point of it is to be able to get access to not only more power from a remote machine if you go that route, but also all the available plugins from the Windows platform if you're on a Mac. And so, because there's a lot more going on in the Windows plugins for some reason than there is in the Mac. Um, and so anyways, you can access many more virtual instrument plugins called VST, and you can use this system called Audio uh, Grid Gritter. And there's a couple different programs, but this looks like the, the has the most substance. So this is very, very close to the idea of using you know al alternative power for your DAW. Because one of the main issues with the DAW is because they have such powerful tools that every year the computer gets updated, but the tools become more powerful. And then the things you want to be able to do with them become more intensive. So using this capability to offset this power load is a genius idea uh, in terms of actually being able to imp implement it because I just dreamed it up and that's nothing. Just having all these ideas is nothing. But somebody actually went through the labor to actually create this cool thing, which is, man, that's awesome. And it looks like this might be open source too, which is probably my favorite idea of the platform. But anyways, uh, I'm really excited about this. Uh, technology. So that means I'll have access to more uh, plugins that may potentially be free, but also um, I'll have the capability to either turn an old machine into uh, a DAW or, or something that can feed me uh, plugins so I don't have to worry about um, using the local system and all its resources. So that's really remarkable. And there was one more thing I was going to mention. Oh, you can put, it, it, if you could put some kind of control mechanism on the interface of a tablet, then you could have like a fake synthesizer that is universally like capable so that therefore you could also have the physical functional control to literally turn something like a tablet immediately into a digital audio plugin server. So in other words, if they have, like Logic has this thing called smart controls, which is a simplification of all the critical controls you'd want to use in your DAW. Well, if they did something like that on a tablet, um, then you could control the essential features physically from the tablet's GUI. So all you would see is like a physical, uh, you know, a bunch of knobs and faders and whatnot. Anyways, Cool idea in the, for the time being, and it's going to be provide access to way more stuff than I could ever imagine. There's already a lot of content out there, but there's just, I'm always looking for really niche things. And sometimes the really niche thing is on the Windows platform at the moment. So anywho, this is a cool one, and I'll have to give it a trial to see how it really works in reality. But it's been around for a few years now, so there, there must be something to it. So I look forward to checking this one out. Put your DAWs on a remote system if you so desire and access the the VSTs to the sky's the limit with as much power as you can handle with the AG server and then put them directly in your DAW from the DAW you should be able to see an actual render of the plugin that you installed anyways really remarkable stuff